Hey guys, for those of you just tuning in, my name is Olivia Merrill and I'm with Windermere Real Estate in Bellevue as well as Team Denver Homes in Denver. I'm going to be touring and publishing reviews of areas, listings, communities, mostly in the Bellevue, Seattle area each and every week for your personal viewing pleasure. This week, seeing as it's election day, go America! I figured we'd skip the property tap property style tour and talk a little bit about how the election has been known to affect the real estate market historically. Sales typically slide down, but prices don't budge. In a recent study that analyzed the last 13 presidential election years, which stretch way back to the 80s, a housing consultancy firm known as Mars Research found out that new home sales decline only 8% from October to November in the years following an election. But on the year the nation chooses its president, that record drops in median sale activity by 15% versus the seemingly typical and seasonal 8%. Another notable point is that in December following an election and in the following year, um, the sales that are lost in November are recovered. Folks weren't positioning to not buy at all, just to not buy during the election month itself. Additionally, in most markets, the rebound is quick and instantaneous as pent up demand sort of overflows after clarity dawns in the Oval Office. The impact of presidential elections on pricing seems less clear cut because any fluctuation in sales volume occurs only for a limited number of months. And like historically, typically pricing, um, in order for it to have lasting change, it needs like at least one to two years um, for us to see some some sort of permanence in, in the change or the average. So that's my take on um, how the election is affecting the real estate market. And really, that's, I mean, if you do re- re- your research, um, you'll find that most others have the same opinion as well. Um, wanted to just shed a little light on it and remind you guys, if you haven't voted, you still have time to get out there and hit the polls until 5 p.m. today. See you next week.